Good morning, folks. Today we are in Tuxedo Park, beautiful Tuxedo Park. Um, it's a it's an old gated community, very large homes that housed a lot of famous people, a lot of sports athletes, uh, large homes, million dollar homes. So today we have a home that was built in 1925 and I'm being told there's three tanks there's one 300 gallon tank right there they don't know what it's for but I'm assuming you'll see it's got a horse stable inside the building uh, so I'm going to say it was for their tractor equipment uh, things like that just to get an idea of it We've got another 300 gallon tank right here, I'm being told. Would assume again, this would normally go to a hand crank. Uh, so Craig is here right now and probably kept all of his equipment in there. I'm not sure the acreage, but it probably sits on seven acres. Um, again, these are all million dollar homes. This home has not been vacant in a while. So it's being sold right now. New buyer says he's putting a pool in there so I can use the dirt from that area. It's got a nice big turnaround here. We got Craig offloading the machinery. So this driveway actually goes around the entire building. It's pretty cool. I don't really wanna walk through the house cause it's kind of spooky. I've been spooked out a couple of times here and ran like a, like a little girl squealing when I went in the basement. We'll just quickly go upstairs. That's scary room down there. Definitely needs a little bit of work. When I came here the first time, when I walked in here, there was a bed fully made with mattresses and children stuffed animals right on the head. That kind of freaked me out because there was nothing else in here but that. And today it's gone, so. Another bedroom. Little bath. There's the kitchen. The new buyers, a couple of nice guys. They got a lot of good ideas for it. I don't know, the people, they must have been short back then. A lot of little rooms. I guess this is the party room with a nice bar for me here's the cool space this is not the basement but this is the actual stall I hope this stuff is bright enough for you but for me the flooring alone down here is really cool And I'm being told that this vehicle comes with the deal. Old Lincoln. I don't know how many car guys we got out there, but I think it's a 42 Lincoln. All original metal, original paint, original tires. That's wild. 
So this is a cool space. Again, I hope you can see it. There's no lighting down here. And here were the stalls for the horses. And it's weird because they look like it's for miniature horses. And that's that. We're just dropping the machine off today. This floor is so cool. Herringbone, wonder where they pulled these all from. Unbelievably level. If I threw a level on that, it would be perfect. I forgot how to get back up. There you go. So that's that we're doing. There was, right where Craig was offloading, right out there, the machine. There's a 1,000 gallon in the driveway. So that's what we're doing tomorrow. One 1,000 gallon, two 300s. Should be a cool day. This place is not so scary. I think it's because I've brought you guys along. You can see how in shape I am. Kind of cool. Out of my price range, pretty sure it was a cash deal, a million dollars. Oh, where do these people get their money? But maybe if they let me, you'll be able to meet the new owners tomorrow. Since this is actually a tank company let me show you the 1000 gallon tank i was i felt safer bringing everyone along okay. yeah so also the reason why we're up here is our two trailers i can hold a thousand gallons of liquid so obviously i'm coming up here to do a 1000 and two 300s i gotta stick these to determine the capacity to make sure I've got to not bring a truck. You got water detecting paste? No. Of course not. I may, but I'm not going to go through it all. So, so right now, because we're up on a second level, essentially, the depth of this is important also to determine the overburden, how much product. Well, that sounded like you landed in sand. Yeah. That thing is possibly filled with sand. But yeah, uh, pull it up and see if anything's wet. It will be. Just wait. I need your tape measure. What? You want to lip it? Yeah. What do we got there? It's oil though. Yeah, it's 23 inches. So there's 500 gallons red oil, and that can't be all sludge. It just could be another one of those times where people attempt to abandon the tank themselves and they put a funnel on that and dump 20 pounds of kitty litter in it where it just all falls right beneath where the fill is so you get like an hourglass effect. So we don't know. I'll have to make conversation with a homeowner and we'll bring drums just in case I got it to drum contaminated soil. Uh, but we'll uh, go look at those other two. Gonna try to get some water detecting paste now and see if there's water in it. Good morning, folks. Looking forward to this day. Um, so you saw we went yesterday to drop off Big Red. We stuck that 1,000 gallon tank. There's some stuff that's suspicious in there. So we'll bring a couple of empty drums. Uh, we are hooking up both trailers because I've got the capacity of 550 gallons in the install trailer and I've got 660 gallons in the removal trailer so uh, we still actually may run into problem if all those tanks are full uh, when we went to stick those two smaller tanks we hit 90s uh, so we don't even really know where those tanks are
so we may have to run these back and um, pump them out and then come back again all depends on what that is so a lot of a lot of unknowns going on here today which is cool it's a Friday which is really cool going in uh, tuxedo park doing a little bit of reading um, Google Tower Hill Road homes there uh, there was a science lab that Albert Einstein used to go to it's a big deal I'm gonna look for it today see if I can't find it go ahead Huh? I saw there. Where? In Albert Einstein's lab room. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. I didn't know that. Yes, I did. Come talk to me. Because I just looked it up. There's it's a on... room in there with four padded walls. Pretty creepy. When did you do this? Ten years ago. Where was I? At your desk. Wow. That's so cool. On Tower Hill Road. Well, this is what the guy told me. He got, Einstein did all kinds of work. And I think it's where they, he told me it's, he did something for a microwave in that. Yeah, that yeah. There, and there was a lot of scientists that came there. It just got cooler. All right, so now I'm really going to... So what kind of tank did you install? A, uh, a 3K out and then like a 2330s in the basement. Wow. All right. That, actually, I mean, other than... Barry Bostwick, we did his job. He's at the, the mayor in Spin City. We did his job. So, you know, just throwing that out there. Didn't even know that. So now I'm really going to look for that road when we're up there. So what an exciting day today. We'll see you up there. These are just some of the homes here in the park. They are massive estates. homes are all a hundred years and older is the infamous home
crazy roads. And we have arrived. All right, so we're going to mark out the asphalt now. That tank's about 11 feet, 6 inches long. That bung is about 12 inches off. So right there is going to be our end point. And I just like to dig one bucket off the end. So let's measure this over here, Craig. You're going to sit back on this side? I'm going to sit right there. Okay. Um, so let's pull it from the fill. That way. All right. So that's a four foot diameter. So it's two feet to the end of the tank. And then another bucket. So right here is going to be our mark. All right. Mark that, Michael. Okay. Nice job. So we, I purchased this electric demo saw. We're going to compare the two versus the gas tower. question is did Craig go deep enough what first check out the uh, performance so. the performance <laughs> Woo! holy moly so we'll have to do that over All right, come on. Wow Wow plus the still kicked up so much more dust I think because the blades wider but let's just see if he cut deep enough right uh, if this was a like we that other job we did if it were like four inches thick but still wow that was impressive
Okay, a little bit of a bear. It's called a sand, which is nice. Um, we've got a massive boulder right there that I can't get on the back end. But, I mean, with this machine, there should be plenty here to pull it out. I just want to make sure we have both ends so we have the right size tank. So, Corey, if you could find that out. do all the work. No problems up there that looks like that tank will pop right out so now here's one of the unknown tanks um, you know it's possible that this thing is gasoline so we'll have to investigate that a little bit uh, because I, before I put any kind of sawzall or spark on that I've got to inert any gases that are in there uh, we normally do it with dry ice we don't have any dry ice with us uh, I can we can use the muffler off the exhaust pipe uh, We've done that, but I don't know how this tank lies. I don't know what size the tank I don't even know what it is. They're just assuming uh, So we're gonna just dig a little bit and investigate because I've got I'm not sure what that is That's gonna be the septic sewer. I'm gonna say that's the vent for it um and I did get an underground mark out, and I've got nothing marked out here. So, I just got to go slow with this stuff. But I am anxious to see what that is. I don't know why there's a depression uh, back here, right there. It could be water coming off that gutter, or it could be some kind of manway. We're going to find out, though. Sam's going to get some plastic, and we'll start digging this up.
So we walked around the, that was pretty cool. So the stalls are down here. That's that party room up there that I showed you earlier. That's where they used to bring the hay and just store it. Okay. So that little tank that I pulled out, it's a gasoline tank. So we're just gonna put the PID meter in there and see if there's any kind of explosive level. So I'm a little worried about that, but we'll take care of it. All right, so Craig pulled out an LEL. Get that zeroed out to one. Wow. And then anything under 10 is acceptable to cut. Looks like we're good to go. that in there. We're good, but still, who's going to be the guy putting the saws all to it? Who's least important here? Whose life is least important? That's terrible that your children think that. Corey is, you know, we Sorry. just we just brought him on board. But just kidding, Cheryl and Shell. It's college. He's college. important. It's college. Well, I mean, how cool is this? 80 years old thing is riveted. That's amazing. That it, they can rivet it and it stays tight like that and holds product. But we are going to grab a sample at the bottom of that. Mikey is going in right now to clean up one of the most amounts of sludge I've seen. That's going to be a full 55 gallons. That'll be a heavy drum when we're done. What's up? You want me to hold it or no? this open it up cool patented 1893 this ladies and gentlemen is a keeper I'm going to cut that open and bend it. 1893, it says it's patent. That's very cool. That's a good find. That's a good find. Look at that. Looks like it's a blanket. Oh my gosh. Have you ever seen that, Mike? It's gummy. Wow. Just got a little excited with bubblegum. We are learning today. That's disgusting. That's not sludge. I don't know what that is. 
Bro, it's 80 years. Awesome. With the top layer, it's, it's a gummy substance it turns to. I've never seen it. Yeah, Laffy Taffy, very good. Craig, you ever see that? What? Turned into like a Laffy Taffy. It, it did, the top layer. Yeah. Are you gonna shake it back? No box, Jammer. Mike, just pick that layer with your fingers. Craig, look. You ever seen that? No. That's wild. That's weird. Yep. We need all right, Mike, you'll keep cleaning this one. We'll go grab that other tank and see if that's also a gas Call tank. For so this is that other tank. I haven't really hit anything. Kind of feel it goes down in, in 90s or elbows. Oh yeah. So. I'll dig more. Oh wow. No, Dad, it's uh the whole top is rusted, so this just half broke off through the tank. Okay, so I'll just stay close to that and I'll dig slow. In the end? Where? Oh, that's the end. Yeah, it comes this way. All right, so so I'll just dig on that side. I'll open that end cap up, and I'll dig in front here. Yeah, and probably it only goes to here. Yeah, and I'll just rip this one open. Okay, we're just finding all kinds of stuff here. So at in the bottom of that void, there were two lines that went in. Don't seem like oil lines. And it went to where the stalls were. So I mean, this could have been an old water tank. This is a 550. It's galvanized. Uh, so you don't galvanize oil tanks. We dug uh, two test pits. Did PID reading 0, 0.0. That's where the piping went in. We went just downstairs and it went to where the stalls are. So, a lot of guesswork here. So, we're, we're going to go back around now and then I'll pull that 1000 out, which looks good.
good. We're just gonna uh, cut this little piece that broke away out. That's all compacted real well. And now we're gonna come in with the the item. That's what the asphalt guy will want to lay his layer of asphalt down on. And we want to give a nice square cut right here. We are finishing up here. No leakers on any of them. One uh, small gas tank. The other was a possible water tank. Don't even know. The inspector didn't know when he came out here. And the 1,000 gallon fuel oil. No leaker. So we got a happy customer. This is. Boys are working on the others in the back. I'll show you this one over here. Here's that uh, small gas tank that's finished. We've taken samples at the bottoms of all of these. Homeowner wanted them. Township wanted them. And then here's the last site. That's it, Core. You did a wonderful job today. As always, folks, that's another fine job by Tank Masters Environmental.